So continuing on uh, this example, we're now at, up to the second cut and just uh, observing the first diagram that we drew for this question back quickly. So this was our question originally and now we're up to the second cut which goes between the pin and the roller. So just drawing it in quickly, my second cut is here as you can see. So we've got the anti we've got the clockwise moment on the left hand edge and we have the two kilonewton pointing downwards. Be careful guys because remember when I worked out VA to be minus two kilonewtons so on the diagram since it's a negative we just indicate it as pointing down and because it's indicated as pointing down you just write two kilonewtons. We can draw it as an arrow pointing up and writing negative but that's too confusing. Okay so um, it's a, everything's a function of x our sign convention is shown so now all we have to do is just equilibrium once again so sum of forces in the horizontal direction equals to zero n is the only axial force so n is zero sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero so we've got minus two which is this one over here minus two into x minus two so what is this? this is the UDL so UDL points downwards so it's a minus and it spans over a length of x minus two which is from here to here then we have minus v because v points downwards we find v to equal minus 2, minus 2 into x minus 2. Now as you can see it's a function of x, so we need to uh, substitute the extremities in, which are 2 and 6, as you can see here. So substituting 2 we find our shear force to be negative 2 kilonewtons, and substituting 6 meters, x equals 6, we find our shear force to be minus 10 kilonewtons. Now that we found our axial force and our shear force, we have to find...